All right, Metatron Collective, y'all been in hiding for a while. Y'all been taking a lot of time to yourself. You're in her mode. Well, you have a new experience. You have a new... I would like to say it's new, but it's, it feels more like a blast from the past. So it's like a new dynamic. You have somebody that's been in your life, but they've always, you've always, they've always been there. And in recent times, things change. An attraction, an admiration has bloomed. And somebody you least expect. You wonder if you're tripping about this or if it's real. Well, let's see. You have a new romantic partner. See what happens when we let the old go and we let the new in. All right. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Boop, bada bing, shut up, shut up. Boom. That's our cards. All right. Start with that tarot and then we'll go into the oracles. A lot. Awesome. All right. Flip these bad boys over. Okay. Makes sense. So, we have marriage, inheritance, in reverse, a pant. And then ace of wands in reverse, not having a new beginning. This is past energy. So, uh, a long time ago, this person would have, neither of you would have seen each other as an option. Neither of you. This was, this was somebody that was a friend for a long time. You've, got, you've known this person for years. Years. Okay. You always have just been there for each other. Never expected, never expected this dynamic to come from you too. But something with this timeline shift. You see a new beginning in yourself. Therefore, you're seeing a lot of other things differently as well. So is this person. So we have the magician up here. That's the master manifesto of your life. And then we have the will of fortune in reverse. That's, that's uh, avoiding fate. The son of Pan, that's positive, positive news, bearer of, bearer of good news, good luck, but I don't say luck, because it's the energy you send out that comes back. Then we have the Knight of Wands, a very speedy offer for movement. Page of Coins up Pan, changing your perspective, seeing the bigger picture when it comes to not just money, but spiritual abundance as well. And then a conflict to end it all off. So this person definitely feels both ways, okay? Uh, both of you in the past, and like I said, you didn't see each other as an option. You were friends. You've probably known this person um, at least at the minimum five years. At the minimum five years, but for a lot of you, it goes back even farther than that. I mean, for a lot of you, this could go back to high school. That's how long you've known this person for. So I sense that you and this person seem to manifest each other into each other's lives when you need each other most or when the, these things just line up. It always kind of, there was this inkling of attraction between you two as the years progressed, but it was this unspoken thing. You didn't see yourself in this high light. You, you had all these karmic connections that were tying you down. You felt this connection for this person and you're like, nah, I'm tripping, there's no way. And then you, and you went on. Well, this person's contacting you. This person's contacting you and bringing you an offer for movement. It's gonna be something chill. I'm not telling you this person's about to, uh, uh, I love, oh my God, blah, blah. no, this person's like, hey, what's up? Want to go out to eat? What are you doing? They're going to ignite. They're going to tell you how they, how they admire you and they've admired you from afar from a long time and they've been watching you without you even realizing it. There was never this spokenness of like, stay out of my life or stay in my life with this person. It's never even had to get to that point. You, you, there's this mutual understanding. 
that your connection, you don't have to talk every day to feel what you feel. There's this innerness of like, I've always known you. You might not even truly remember meeting this person that because that's how long, that's how strong this bond is. You know the time frame, you know, but you can't think of the exact moment. But there's like a third party influence. There will be somebody that, I'm not saying this is like going to be something detrimental and like going to pulling away like all of the past have been with other people. No, both of you are done with that bullshit. But see, both of you are very opinionated and strong willed people. So you're going to have to come to agreeances. This new beginning is going to be bumpy. It's still a new beginning. It's realistic. You can't just have the pavement on the road to begin with. You got to make a dirt road first. So that's what's going on here. A whole new foundation. The dirt road has been the dirt road has been made. Now we're in the process. The timeline's made. The timeline's here. Now it's just upgrading it. They're going through the process of laying down the pavement or the asphalt. There is an internal conflict of one other source, another romantic connection. And then throughout time, you both are going to have people come in during your connection. You'll both be put in conflict because both of you are going to have somebody from your past return. That's how it always happens. Let's get into that with the Oracle cards. Interesting. Four, four. So this is this is that person we're channeling the new beginning, the new romantic partner, because they're somebody that's new, not new in your life, but they're a new romantic partner. I feel so happy with you. I trusted you. I feel the sexual tension and non-action. So with the, the I trusted you, I don't see this in a bad way. I do feel an intensity, but it doesn't feel bad. It's like I've trusted you and I've always really trusted you. See, with this non-action, what I take from this is this person, like, neither of you know how to even bring this up. You both felt the sexual tension. That you, you've had to have recently hung out with them. Like, you've at least hung out with this person sometime in the last couple months. Okay? So this is a person that you've known for a long time. And they... You've... Weaved in and out of each other's lives throughout the years. But in recent times, you've stayed in contact. Another, neither of you know how to make a forward action about the fact that there is this sexual tension. And you both feel so happy when you're with each other. You can read each other's minds, basically. And both of you have overcame trust issues. Both of you have overcame codependency. And as you're filling all of this and the, and we turn it from that non-action to full on action, somebody you've disconnected from, they're going to fill that. The, somehow in them, it's going to shake them up. They're going to feel that you're being intimate with somebody else and something in them is going to awaken to contact you. And you're going to be put in this hard position. So maybe it's you who's going to have that conflict. It very well could be both of you, but I know for a fact you are going to have that conflict. This is this person who's going to come in after you're already in connection with that person, okay? So we have spiritual awakening. In reverse, we have you inspired me in reverse and messages, and I have too much to lose. This person's going to come in and say, you awaken a part of my spiritual journey. I didn't believe in this at first. I thought you were tripping. I thought you were crazy. But this awoken something in me. I admire you. You've inspired this growth out of me. And they see the signs. 
the messages, everything connecting throughout the day, angel numbers, your name, your car. You get the downloads that they're trying to send to you as well. With the I have too much to lose, what are they going? One of the first things they're going to say to you is, I had too much to lose. I couldn't even explain to you what was going on. I, I, I had too much to lose, but I'm here now. And you're going to be put in a really hard spot because you have this person who, you, it's interesting, at this point, this because they're both going to be stable offers and passionate, both of them. And I can't tell the difference between which one is more passionate and which one is more stable. Time will tell with that. So, depending on your dynamic of life and partners, you have a choice to make. Let's get into these oracles to close off this reading. Let's see. Mm-hmm. Okay. So we got two separate energies. Let's see. We're going to go back completely into just this person now. That's what this energy is. So outwards are what you're sending that person. Inwards, that's what that person's sending you. Let's start with what you're sending them. So we have number 21, 12. Number 21 and number 12 are both really resonating. Recycle. 40, bullseye focus. Angel numbers, confirmation, healing, and then there's 1212 on this card. Yep. And number 13, so 1213, medical staff, healing. Okay, so this person could work in the medical field. Also, though, you're, what I'm seeing from this, though, I'm being channeled, is that you're sending this person the energy of how I've always helped you heal. Even when we were young, we were naive, you, we've helped each other heal. Bullseye focus in the recovery. Interesting. Recycle, recover, recovery. You've recovered. Your recovery of... You feel like your redemption is, is more than solidified. You're sending the energy to them that you love yourself and you know you're enough. You're sending them that the energy of... This is something that can be recycled in the best way because this wasn't anything that's ever been but a friendship before that you can recycle and reuse this to something new. And your bulls are focused on what you know you want, deserve, not even want, is yours, that you're completely connected to spirit and it's something that they really admire about you is that bullseye vision, your work ethic and how you're trusting and source. You're saying the energy to them if if you got me, I got you. You're saying them the energy of that what spirit guides my way stays. And they're definitely part of that. You both have done the work. And there was a reason you were supposed to never see each other in that way. What energy are they sending you? Succulence, resilience, number 38, number 33. Stars, divine guidance. And then number three again, yield, patience. So this person's sending you the energy of have patience with me. As we go forth, this is going to be scary. This is new. So have patience with me, but I'm ready. I know that this is divinely guided. We have the resilience to get through what anybody says. You might be um, a plant parent also. Yeah, you or this person's a plant parent for sure. They're sending you the energy of, I have the patience to wait for you also. See, this person will message you. This person's going to reach out to you and they're going to send you the energy of, like you've always have. Just patience with each other. This isn't something new. The new feeling is the divine guidance of trusting the romantic connection. 
and that you both have the resilience to not fall back into fear of what ifs and the ego. One card. This card keeps pull calling me. Let's see what it is. Trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. Metatron Collective, you fucking Gucci. You got your center focus. Trust in your source. Trust in yourself. You're growing. You're learning. And you're at peace with fates. Let's get it.